guys, it's Monica and welcome back to my channel. So today for our What's For Dinner Wednesday, we have a easy peasy crock pot recipe. And when I say easy peasy, I mean easy peasy. You are basically going to dump it, set it, and forget it for six to eight hours. Simple as that. It doesn't get any simpler. No need for a big, long, drawn out video. It is just that easy. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how I make chicken gravy over rice and pair it with a side of veggies and serve it with a biscuit or you can serve it with a roll. Totally up to you, but it is that easy peasy. You guys will be shocked how easy this is, but it's going to be so good, you guys. I promise you are going to make this over and over again and again. Okay, so if you guys want to see how to do this, then keep watching. Okay, for this recipe, you are going to need some chicken. I am just using some uh, breast tenders here. I don't know how many is in this pack. My guesstimation is somewhere between six and eight. I'm not exactly sure, but we're just gonna go with it. You're gonna need two packages of chicken gravy mix. You're going to need some garlic powder, some crushed red pepper flakes, a can of cream of chicken soup, I have an extra on hand just in case I want the consistency a little bit different. You're going to need two cups of water and I'm going to pair it with uh, some white rice. You can pair it with uh, some mashed potatoes or rice or, or whatever you want, noodles if you want, but uh, I'm just going to pair it uh, with some rice and a vegetable. Okay, so I took the chicken out of the package there, rinsed it off, I have it on a plate. There's 10 pieces, just so you know. I was kind of sort of close, but there um, is 10 pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to salt and pepper uh, both sides of the chicken. So I'm just going to put a little bit of salt, not too much, on both sides of it here. Don't you guys love this little salt uh, box? My friend Mary made this for me and sent it to me. So cute. I have enjoyed these like so, so much. You guys have no idea. Okay, so I'm just kind of salting and peppering the chicken. Not too much. I'm going to use my other hand and flip the chicken over. So we want to do that side too. You don't want to get too much salt because the gravy and the cream of chicken already have um, salt in it. And you don't want really, really salty chicken. That would just be nasty. So I'm just flipping it over here. So we get this side. I'm going to take my clean hand and get some salt. And just go around. Good, and get some pepper, do the same thing. Just salt and pepper it. All right, now we can wash our hands and go over to the crock pot to put all of our ingredients in there. All right, so I've got all of our packages open over here. So we're going to take our gravy, dump it over in the crock pot here. Get all that out. Put the second one. I just washed my crock pot, by the way. <laughs> Okay, and then we're going to take our can of uh, cream of chicken and dump that in there too. It'll come out. Please come out, please. No. So wooden spoons are for y'all. Okay, so I'm just gonna scrape that out. You know how I am about scraping. Okay, set that to the side, put the spoon in the sink. All right, now we're going to take some of our red uh, crushed pepper flakes. We're just going to do a little bit of that, maybe about a teaspoon to be honest with you. I'm not going to go too crazy because I know the kids don't really care for it. Brody, the seven-year-old, he'll eat it. The twins, no. Riley, forget about it. And then we're going to take our garlic powder and do a teaspoon of that as well. And then I have two cups of water here in our cup. We're going to go ahead and dump that over in there. Take a whisk and we're just going to mix that up. Now, if you like yours more of a... Um, thicker consistency, you can add the second can of gravy. Um, I'm not gravy, uh, cream of chicken. You can add that because to be honest with you, I like a lot of gravy. Like I could just eat gravy and rice 24 seven. It is so good. So if you like that, you can add another can. Um, I'm not going to right now, maybe later on, um, or even after I get the chicken in there, if I think I need that other can, I'll add it. But 
Right now we're just gonna leave it at one. So now we're gonna go ahead and put our chicken over into our crock pot. All right, everyone into the hot tub. It's not hot yet, so I guess it'd be more like a pool. So I'm just kind of laying them around in there, trying not to overlap them. It's okay if they do. You just might have to stir it a couple of times. So I'm just putting the chicken in there. You want to make sure the chicken is covered. Okay, that is all the chicken. Okay, all the chicken is covered. So now we're just going to pop the lid on and we are going to set it for at least six to eight hours. So I'm gonna go with six right now and then if I think a little bit later it needs a little bit more time, I'll leave it there. But right now I'm gonna do six hours because I know it's not gonna take very long. So just pop your lid on and forget about it. Simple as that, just forget it. So I will see you guys in six hours. Okay, it is six hours later and our chicken is done. So I went ahead and turned that off. Before I turned it off, I did put in um, a little bit of cornstarch just to kind of thicken it up a little bit because I felt like it was a little too soupy. But now I'm over here working on our vegetables. I just got a bag of the frozen Hong Kong uh, blend over here. So I'm just kind of cooking that up. I have a little bit of oil in there and I season the oil with some crushed red pepper flakes and some minced garlic. I did put a little bit of salt and pepper over in here as well and a tablespoon of butter. So I'm just going to cook this up and then I'm going to pair the meal also with biscuits. So I have those in the oven right there cooking up and then I'll start the five minute rice last because that takes the shortest amount of time. Okay so I just scooped the chicken and gravy mixture right over the rice here and I sprinkle just a little bit of parsley flakes on there just to kind of, you know, make it look prettier. Then I have my vegetables over here to the side, and then I paired it with a biscuit. But that is pretty much it. That is it. Easy peasy. You just dump it in the crock pot, set it, forget it. Do some five minute rice, which I'm all about simple, easy meals, and especially if I haven't been feeling too good. So the five minute rice is right up my alley. You could totally pair that with mashed potatoes or even pasta noodles if you want it, but I love to have it over rice. It is so good. And I like to kind of sneak in, of course, you know, if you watch my videos, when I say sneak, it's not really sneak, but I like to accompany the meal with vegetables because I feel like if the vegetables are there, the kids are more prone to mix it in with like the gravy and the chicken and the rice. And then they eat it a little bit better that way, opposed to just having a big old pile of vegetables on their plates. But the kids absolutely positively love this. It is a great meal. It is so good. You could definitely add to this, um, you know, sour cream, cream cheese. You could add veggies, whatever you want. The sky is the limit, but this is just a little idea for you guys if you are having a cooking rut. Um, or if you're looking for a couple of easy crock pot meals, crock pot meals are the best. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to check out my other videos. If you have not subscribed, please do. I would love to have you on my channel and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.